I begin a piece with just a little, a little fragment, or a little, it doesn't tend to be a very big idea, and just a little, a little few notes, or a little, um, or a little phrase, or melody, or something like that, or even just, just a chord, one chord, just play that for a while, until you get used to it, build the chord, and then, um, let it take off. Yeah. The thing I like best about what I do is just creating things, really. Making something out of nothing. Filling the room with sound. In craft was not this was kind of was m perhaps more about more about my feelings, t my love of the craft of making music, rather than Hamlet. But I kind of, I kind of used a bit of Hamlet saying, "I'm just mad at craft," rather than you know at being actually mad. And I kind of, I kind of liked that allusion to the sort of all being this whole crazy passions and stuff just being put on, and so I kind of liked that and I called it that. I first heard the mandolin, or saw the mandolin, in a shop at Alistair's, and he played, he played some tunes and some chords and stuff, and uh, I think I was pretty hooked when I first heard that. <laughs> when it comes to composers, um, Bach and Vivaldi are really where I begin. There's plenty of music in that to listen to. The Sonata book was, I was thinking about the place where Ophelia, where Ophelia died. And I was also mesmerized by the um, by Queen Gertrude's speech you know where she's addressing the audience and everyone and, and all the actors around there about um, you know about Ophelia's death and where she died and you know and so I wanted to I wanted to create a bit of that um, that lone high voice sort of with a the very sort of glassy, romantic, sort of tragic sound. It's not quite perfect. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of a twang, a bit of harshness in there as well. that sort of just adds to the sort of chime-like sparkling quality of it, I think. That's where that comes from. <laughs>